This year's Anchorage City election has seen a noteworthy number of signs vandalized. Some say the recent incidents are worse than those in the past and possibly deliberately targeting specific campaigns. But what we're seeing now is just a whole other level compared to previous years. It's really picked up over the last three weeks. It's happening almost on a nightly basis. Ira Slomsky Pritz is a partner with the Ship Creek Group, a group that does political projects for some candidates around Anchorage. He says he's been receiving texts almost every day of a new candidate sign that's been destroyed from various locations across the city. Frames are getting sawed. People are like razor blading off the signs. There's graffiti on signs. Sometimes the signs just go completely missing. Just in the past couple of weeks, he says upwards of 20 big 8 by 4 signs have been vandalized, with each sign costing between $80 to $100, and that's just the cost of the sign alone. That does not include the lumber or the time to build the sign. Zach Johnson is a candidate for Anchorage Assembly running to represent District 6. He's had many of his signs vandalized and says this is just an effort to influence the outcome of an election through criminal behavior. Uh, and I believe that is entirely unacceptable. But also tell you, I, I'm not going to get Intimidate. I'm not going to get back down. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and making the best effort I can to, to reach out to as many folks as possible and, and try and tell them that, you know, hey, I think there's hope for our city still. Andy Holloman sits on the Anchorage School Board and is also running for re-election. Holloman believes the vandals are being methodical in their efforts. He also says during this time of year, it's harder to put these signs up. It's a lot of work by the volunteers that go out and make this happen. And, and to see it just undone or defaced or continually knocked over, it discourages people um, and creates an atmosphere of anger at the same time, and, and none of that's good for Anchorage. Slomsky Pritz emphasized that it can take an hour or two to just put up one sign and are normally done by individuals volunteering for campaigns who hope to better the city. It's also been disheartening to some candidates. Being a candidate is very, very hard putting yourself out there in so many ways and to see your signs get destroyed, of course it's discouraging. It's like, that's not the message we want to send to anyone who's willing to step up and serve the community in that way. It's not confirmed that the vandalism is an organized effort, but there seems to be a pattern of the same candidate signs being vandalized over and over again. Lex Yelverton, Alaska's news source.